Magnet Cove is a small rural community located 12 miles east of Hot Springs. What makes this community unique is a mineral called lodestone. Lodestone is a type of magnetic rock that is composed of iron and small pieces of magnetite. The Jim Kimsey family owns the land in which lodestone can be located dating back to around 1936. Okay, do you know how long your lineage goes back? Well, the Kimsey plant owned property here back into the uh, early 1800s, or uh, probably 1820s maybe, uh, uh, maybe earlier, I'm not sure, uh, uh, but my granddad uh, actually bought this piece of property where this, where this lodestone's located in, I think, in 1936. You don't pick up, I don't pick up a lot that's lodestone anymore. But it's, but it's like I understand that, that most of the lodestone occurs close to the surface, you know, and so, so as you go deeper, it's, it's not polarized. So. What year uh, did the mining start? Well, the, uh, there, there, were, there were two separate mills at uh, two separate times. Uh, one was probably, in the, I'm, I'm guessing at this, uh, I'm guessing late 40s, uh, maybe even mid 40s, maybe, maybe in the result of World War II, but, but uh, uh, sometime in the, in the late, mid to late 40s, maybe into the early 50s uh, operated up here and I don't know how long it operated. I, I, have, I can find no real good record of that but it wasn't a long time. It wasn't like most mines and most mills operate. The second one was, was later on my uh, granddad, dad and, and an uncle uh, were all involved in that process and it, uh, of course it was the first one too, but, the, but uh, that was in the mid 50s uh, and it only operated, I think, maybe for a couple of years. And I have no idea where they were shipping that stuff. I, it, I don't ever remember asking, uh, nor remember any discussion about it. When I was a kid, I'd come out, I could come out here and watch them. You know, uh, past this little trick there. Come out here and watch them, just sit there and watch them. They're, they're on what they call steam cells. They call them steam cells, but they, were, they weren't steam operated. They were, they were, uh, uh, of course, you know, just diesel, but they, uh, and they, they hauled the road, that the road they hauled it was, I had to ask them back up there. So this pit, I went all the way back up past, up past where that other pond is. This pond was one, was just one single pit, and I had, uh, when she owned a piece of property, put a fence across, uh, the road across there, so, so the pit went on up toward that road. And that road, that road up there, it's on the pink on the on the map. Right. right. That's yes, the road. Right. That was the road where they hauled it up to, to, the, to the hill. This is just some of what Dad's old collection was. I've stuck out wow. here. Uh, big pieces of stuff. And some of it's okay. Some of it's just just stuff he was interested in. Yes. He picked up a lot of stuff over the years. Um, how did you find out that your family had a special type of mineral? Oh, well, it, we grew up with it. Uh, uh, my granddad was a state geologist and self-educated geologist as well as, as, as a politician of the House of Representatives and, uh, in the Senate and the Public Service Commission. Uh, uh, but uh, it was just it was just common to all of us who lived here. That was that was the conversation that, that the family had back before TV. And of course, you had radio but before TV. You know, you sat around, people talked about uh, uh, geology or politics, you know, and our family was geology and politics. So I just, I just grew up with it. There's no specific time that, that I would say that uh, uh, they came in, became interested. My granddad's parents were involved, or their father was involved in geology, and, and he, and my granddad had just a natural love for it. So it's, it's just kind of a heritage sort of situation. It just carried on. Yes, yes, sir. See, that's, that's not a right. magnetite. Yeah, it's just small pieces. Yeah, so you'll, you'll find uh, this is just pretty prevalent. This, this, this pond is, is vaporous. It, it, of course, it gets fed because of stuff coming off the hillside back right. there. But it's, it's also spring fed. It's so I've never seen it dry at all. You know, it'll go down a little bit, but not much. But, uh, but they had to pump, when they, were, when they were mining, they had to pump water out. To, to, to keep, yes, sir. To keep it right. Uh, and this, uh, 
See that see it comes back, it's back right through there where that tree line is. Uh, their plan was that, that, that if I remember right, was once they finished kind of running this out, that they might try to slip the screw into the water. But uh, that's about to be the outer rim of a bigger lake. Yeah, because if they ever needed to do it, they could always drink it. They could always mine again, they could always drink it. So. But they never they, they quit before they finished the dike. It did come on down close to behind, behind our house. We removed all that. Those those rocks over there are, are the kind of stuff, stuff that, that comes out of just comes out of the pit. You know the, the geologists will bang around on them a little bit. You know, and then the, and then you, you see a lot of you see a lot of course the geologists will find find a lot of stuff in those on those stones. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and then my granddad discovered a little black crystal stuff. It's in the room, so I'll look at that. It's different than the rest of it. So if you were an expert, I forgot who the color was. Uh, it, was it was a different mineral. It took the name of Kimseyite. Kimseyite? Right. But, uh, so there is a mineral called Kimji. It's really small. So the biggest piece that I've ever seen is in the museum at Melbourne. Do you think that you are better off with the mine on your property? Saying is the extra maybe, maybe pressure of having uh, a unique mineral. Oh, well, I'm, I'm better off because it's it's a family, it's just family heritage, and, and I, I appreciate that very much. And, and it means a lot to, to to be able to keep it in the family, and we hope to keep it in the family for a long time. But it's uh, it, it 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 provides no economic stimulus or, or, or gain for us, uh, uh, and uh, it's just it's just one of those things that you know it's it's just God's country. You just kind of want to keep hang on to it and keep it. That's one reason why we just don't even take the timber off of, off the wooded area back here. Just try to keep everything like it is. And, and, but it's it's nice to have it, and we'll we'll try to keep it in the family as long as we can. Picking up load stones and and raising it to sell. So it's it, it just known it. It's just one of those things that people have known for a long time. Okay. I don't, I can't tell you a time when it was actually discovered. All right. Um, do you know if any modern day tools such as a uh, a magnetic screwdriver have lodestone in uh, Not, not, it, not, probably not lodestone, no. Uh, it's, uh, uh, lodestone is, is, again, it's, it's just, it's just polarizing, uh, you know, magnetite, iron ore, if you will. Uh, but, uh, it, so, to, to, when you speak of lodestone itself and how it might be used, uh, no, no, it's, I'm not aware of any use for lodestone proper other than novelty stuff. Uh, you can polarize, you can polarize any piece of iron metal, obviously. So, so it's no, but there's no, there's no commercial uh, use for lodestone per se that I'm aware of. Okay, um, there's no commercial use, but do you know what it's used for primarily? Well, I, but, but but again, I've got to make the difference between lodestone and just regular. Magnetite, which is what you find mostly, it's just basically iron ore, if you will. Right. Uh, but so, so the lodestone itself is not, uh, it's not a commercial sort of deal. If it, it, it's its basic use would just be for novelties. In, in fact, I've thought about doing this, but just to have a, a piece of rock that's magnetized, you know, mm -hmm. is unusual. But there's 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 not any commercial use for it. You could take a piece of, of magnetite and polarize it, mm -hmm. you know. So just like you polarize a screwdriver. You know, so it's not the lodestone itself that would be causes a screwdriver to be polarized. A, a screwdriver is built and then pull. You, you, you can you can Google it. You can polarize any almost any tool that's got iron in it. All right. So so there's not there's not a commercial application for lodestone as in its, in its pure definition. All right. Well, that's all I've got. So. Okay. All right. Thanks well, so it's, much uh, for the uh, Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. It, Into an East Coast. You know, I was with these for, for, for 
a few years. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, I, I went with a friend of mine that I'd worked with in oil till, was a finance guy. Yes, sir. And he said, I'd, we need some business help. And, and uh, uh, Jim Stevens uh, was, was kind of working part-time still at the time. Right. And so I went over to, did, to handle some business stuff. And then after a year or so, they, he said, we need somebody to just, just you know, lead it. So, yeah, I was a president for a couple of years.